Hi, friends. Welcome to Art Vids for Kids, where we explore artworks and learn new things together through video. To start us off, I want you to close your eyes and I'll read to you a poem. While I read, I want you to imagine a picture that matches my words. Are you ready? Here we go. Towering Mount Fuji, through the tall grasses and greens, brave and beautiful. Now open your eyes. How were you imagining what I described? Did it look like this artwork? How was what you imagined similar to this artwork? How was it different? That was an example of haiku, which is a special form of poetry that originally comes from Japan. Here soon, on April 17th, it will be National Haiku Poetry Day. Many people find haiku poetry beautiful because it's simple, and it doesn't even have to rhyme. The poem is just three lines long. The first line is just five syllables. The second line is to be seven syllables. And your last line of poetry will be like your first, just five syllables. Haiku is often inspired by nature and the beauty of our world, just like how the poem I first read to you describes the artwork on your screen. Speaking of this artwork, Let's check it out some more. See how the artist has shown us Mount Fuji in the background? Mount Fuji is the tallest mountain in Japan. Here, it sort of looks like it's floating above everything else because the artist has placed clouds around it that are the same color as the sky. If we were inside this painting, where would we be standing? Because of this particular view of the mountain, we're probably standing on the plains that surround it. This is actually a real place called the Musashi Plain. From the floor of the plain, bright green grass, called pampas, shoot upward and help frame our view of the mountain. This artwork is also a screen which means the artist painted the image on paper first, which is attached to a series of folding panels. And it is part of a pair, which means there's a companion screen to this one. What do you notice about this new view? Right, we can't see the mountain anymore, but now, if you look closely, we have a low-hanging moon. Why might the moon be hanging so low? Somewhere between 300 and 350 years old, the screen was made by an unknown artist in Japan. And as you probably noticed, it's colored with lots of bright gold. On your next visit to the museum, you can find it in Gallery 106 of our Patterson Kettering Wing of Asian Art. I think you will be amazed when you see it in person. Finally, before we go, I'd like to challenge you to write your own piece of haiku poetry. Remember, 575. That's the amount of syllables you'll need for each of the three lines. Take inspiration from any space around you, whether a nearby park, your school, or your own backyard. Once you've written it, share it with your closest friend. I'll leave you with one more haiku. Thanks for joining me, seeing art and poetry, how inspiring. Thanks again, friends, and check back next month for a new Art Vids for Kids.